16-year-old Maryland native Quincy Wilson is breaking records. And because he is. He's the youngest male athlete to ever make a U.S. Olympic track. Like everyone else, Quincy Wilson had been looking forward to participating in the Olympic Games. It is my dream since I was a young athlete when I started running track. I approached my mom and told her that I would love to run in the Olympics one day. That dream became a reality earlier than everyone thought it would be, except for Quincy himself. Just like, Coach, we're ready. We're now ready. Let's go we're ready. The in fact, when he previously told his mom how he would be going to the Olympics, his mom expressed her support, but surmised that it wouldn't be until 2028 at least. You'll be like in college or something like that. And he looked at me like, no, uh -uh, I'm going like. And he did. He came to Paris, which, interestingly, was the first time that he had traveled out of the country. It's a memorable event in more ways than one. Thank you, so I don't know what to expect. So that's the thing that I'm most nervous about. So how did he come to this position? Wilson, a running sensation at 16, became the youngest American male to be part of the Olympic track team after he was selected for the task. In early July, he took to Instagram to express his excitement as he wrote, we going to the Olympics. Although the team had not been formally announced at the time, Wilson's coach, Joe Lee, shared that Quincy had indeed received the news. The call came directly to me from USA Track and Field, Lee said. I called Quincy afterward with the good news. It was good news indeed, great even, and well-deserved too. After all, Wilson, a student at Bullis School outside Washington, D.C., had a remarkable performance at trials, setting, and subsequently besting the world record for under-18 runners. I've never been this happy a day in my life when it comes to track, Wilson said after he broke the record in the 400-meter semifinals. Justin Robinson, also an American, had held the under-18 world record for the 400-meter dash before Wilson's runs during trials. Robinson ran 44.84 seconds in 2019, when he was 17 years old. Wilson beat Robinson's record on June 21st, running 44.66 seconds. He beat his own new record a few days later, running a 44.59 during the semifinals. All that said, it came as no surprise that he had been selected as part of the team going to Paris. Before Quincy, the youngest American male track athletes to qualify for the Olympics were Jim Ryun and Arion Knighton, both of whom were 17 when they became Olympians. So, yes, while American men have competed in track and field at the Olympic Games for 128 years, never before has there been someone as young as Quincy Wilson. In early August, the 16-year-old officially became an Olympian when he ran the opening leg of round one of the U.S. 4 by 400 meter relay inside Stade de France. With that run, Wilson became the youngest male U.S. track Olympian, eclipsing middle distance runner Jim Ryun, who was 17 at the 1964 Olympics. During the race, Wilson faded in the last 150 meters to hand over in seventh place, three seconds behind the leaders. But Team USA did not panic, with strong legs from the other American runners seeing the US recovering to finish third. Without going into detail, Wilson said afterward that he was not completely healthy. I knew I had a great three legs behind me, Wilson said. I knew it wasn't just myself, because by myself, we would be in last place. Wilson handed off to teammate Norwood, whose 43.54 leg got the US back in contention. Norwood described himself as very proud watching Wilson. I was kind of in the moment because I'm watching a 16-year-old running the Olympics. Olympics history, Norwood said. I'm super proud of him to show his grit for us and put us in a good position to go for the gold, added Norwood. I told him before we got here, I said, hey, embrace it. You belong here. This is a privilege. Nobody in this world gets this opportunity, so make the most of it. The Americans, usually dominant in this event, needed a rally from Christopher Bailey on the final lap simply to qualify for the final. The team finished third in a time of 2 minutes, 59.15 seconds. Wilson was picked up by veteran teammates Vernon Norwood, Bryce Dedman, and Bailey. I wasn't 100% myself, but my team came out here and did it for me, Wilson said. But these guys came out there and gave it their all. They ran their hearts out. 
Although he didn't want to elaborate on why he wasn't 100% for the race, he said, I'm with a great team. I had them on my side through the whole thing. Nevertheless, it was a grand experience. At the end of the day, the teenager held his own against grown men in the 400 meters in the US Olympic track trials and managed to compete in Paris. Not a lot was able to do that. I'm just running for my life, Quincy said. At 16 years old, I'm like ecstatic right now. Even though Wilson had the slowest split of the relay group, that wasn't unexpected for an inexperienced sprinter. Still, the US has the option to replace Wilson in the finals with a more experienced sprinter, a common practice that allows the veterans to keep fresh legs for other races. And they did that. Quincy was replaced by Rye Benjamin, who won his first Olympic gold medal in the men's 400 hurdles the day before the men's 4x400 meter final. He then led the US men's 4x400 relay team to a victory at the Stade de France. The men's team consisted of Chris Bailey, Vernon Norwood, Bryce Dedman, and Benjamin as the anchor. Norwood got the team in the position running the second leg, Dedman got the squad a two-meter lead on the third leg, and Benjamin took the gold home with an Olympic record time of two minutes and 54.43 seconds. With that, the United States won men's 4 by 400 meter gold for the third Olympics in a row. Although Quincy Wilson did not compete in the final, his efforts in round one earned him the hardware. Since the USA 4x400 4 meter relay team finished first in the finals, Quincy, by extension, also bagged the gold alongside his team members, making him history's youngest track and field athlete to have the honor. In an interview, the young athlete highlighted the valuable advice he received before the competition. Wilson revealed that a fellow Team USA athlete had counseled him to approach the Paris Olympics like any other track and field event, saying take it like it's a regular meet, and act like it's a national championship meet, because it will have bigger people, bigger supporters. But at the end of the day, it's still a track, and it's in nine lanes. You just have to go out there and run. Wilson called it the most important advice he received on his path to the Paris Olympics. He learned that managing one's expression and emotions is crucial when facing the pressure of high-level competition and large crowds. This skill proved invaluable for the young athlete before his race at the Stade de France. He acknowledged that the Olympic Games were unlike any track meet he had previously experienced in his remarkable career. When asked about how he felt competing against more seasoned runners, Wilson admitted feeling initially overwhelmed as he had never imagined himself participating in the Olympics at such a young age. However, Wilson credited his success to his strong support network, including his coach, parents, and fans worldwide, who cheered for him at this prestigious event. For the 16-year-old, competing in the Paris Olympics was a dream realized. Now, he's back to reality, school. After making headlines as Team USA's youngest male track Olympian at Paris 2024, Quincy returned to high school in Maryland with his gold medal, where before Paris, he set the American high school record in the indoor and outdoor 400 meter. Here's what other athletes are doing after Paris.